Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Here we are. We're back. back. I can hear you out there. I know you're doing it with us. That's cool. So hopefully you're following this live on the internet. I know that right down below us, it's being streamed on the expo show floor. Should we give them another shout out? We should give them another shout, shout out. Shout out, hey exhibitors. That's right. So, you know, if you have any questions, you can send them on Twitter to Laraka J or at Amber Virgillo. And make sure you do a hashtag NRFLP14. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hashtag. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> We're going to Twitter bomb the NRF. So use, the, use that hashtag. It's going to be all good. And right now, I think we're going to go through the balance of the agenda. Yeah, that's the fifth time you've asked, so I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. This Here we time, go. She's, we're going, got, her, she's we're go got the cheat sheets. We're going right into this, it. The teleprompter yeah, didn't so work. We're starting, <laughs> we're starting with Rich Meller coming up. That's, you know, the back half of the agenda, the 4 o'clock. That's right. Yep. What's Rich Meller in store, you think? So, What's he going to say? You know what? Rich Meller is going to spend some time talking about active shooters. I mean, clearly, there have been 70-plus shootings in schools and as we all painfully know, shootings in shopping centers, parking lots, inside the mall, even inside stores, they're tragic. They cost lives. They panic employees, customers. And they happen sometimes during the holidays, our busiest shopping season of the year. And the National Retail Federation and a number of really great people from law enforcement and retail have been working around the country to promote a program from Department of Homeland Security about active shooters. And I think Rich is going to share some details about the program, the training videos that are made available for free, and where we're going from here. So there's really no excuse for all retailers not to get bone up on your active shooter program because it's very, very serious, yes? It's free, and it's really important information. Okay, so moving on, Tom Litchford, VP Retail Technologies at NRF. Cybersecurity? So, you guessed it. Kind of important. So, so. Uh, uh, former Department of Homeland Security Secretary, Say that again. <laughs> former <laughs> Homeland Security <laughs> Chief Michael Chertoff was here at the National Retail Federation talking about the importance of cybersecurity. In fact, this afternoon, Brian Krebs, you know, that reporter guy, Krebs and Security, that broke all the news during the holidays about the data breaches, they're here at the conference talking about cybersecurity. The importance of cybersecurity, as we all know in retail, extends well beyond our four walls. It's about our business partners, it's about the financial institutions, and most importantly, it's about the people that are impacted, the customers. But you know, in reality, and maybe I'm a little biased here, when data is breached and credit card numbers are compromised, retailers, in addition to consumers, also become the victim. Yeah. I think Tom's gonna talk today about the importance of technology mm -hmm how this is impacting the business, and where we're going from here. Yeah, it's a huge brand thing, too. Being a brand strategist, right? I mean, that's a big deal. I mean, how many people thought twice when you hear about the data breaches in the news, what do I do here, cash or credit? And no one carries cash anymore. That's right. right? And, you know, unlike the data breaches of five or six years ago, they, they happened and they were disclosed in January, February, March, the slower periods in retail. This time, last year, it was during the holidays. It really presented a dilemma. Do the banks cancel the credit cards? Can consumers cancel the cards? How do you buy the holiday gifts? How do you go shopping? So it's a, 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 a solution that we all need to work on. Yeah, so he's going to give you some incredible information. Start here, start now That's with right. our value-packed afternoon. So we're going to move on to then Organized Retail Crime Roundtable. So who's moderating that, Joe? Well. <laughs> Gus Downing will be moderating the session, and we have four really great speakers. We have Denny Dansack, who you met earlier today from Kroger Stores, Nelson Hara from Gap Inc., Scott Sanford from Barnes & Noble, and Tony Shepard from CVS. And Deb Lucier. Is Deb, Deb Lucier, Lucier yeah, added to yeah. that too? Right Deb on. Deb Lucier, senior manager. Yep. We love Deb. She did, she did a session yesterday morning. It was standing room only. Incredible job. With Detective Jim Ostacek, who you'll meet yep. in one of the, the later hours. Um, these five individuals are really the, 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 the core of organized retail crime investigations. Leading the way, really. They're, they're really leading the way, yep. and they work closely with other retailers, law enforcement agencies, and a number of associations on really the best practices and how we move these people right on out of business. Now I'm name dropping, and it feels good. Feels good to be a name dropper. She really. hasn't really done that, <laughs> but she's cheating. The teleprompter cheating. has the names yeah, on it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's next after that? Another ORC um, roundtable, but this side a totally different spin, right? Yeah. Not retailer, but not retailer. 
Um, this one I'll be moderating, and it'll be three law enforcement professionals, three key partners that we have out there in the field working on a regular basis. Captain Bill Williams, the commanding officer with the Los Angeles Police Department, and Detective Joe Hopkins with the LAPD's La Orca, or Law Enforcement uh, Organized Retail Crimes Association, and he's the law enforcement liaison. They are the largest public-private sector partnership, ORC partnership in the country. So they'll talk a little bit about how they put the program together, how the LAPD works with retailers, and what's up next. And they have a conference. The that's Lower right. Orca conference. When the, is that every year? Do you know? You speak it, at it, right? That's right. It's the first quarter of each year. I'm like your publicist right now. That's right. It's you're very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> we love at, at ambervergillo.com. Amber okay. There you go. So the, the third person on that panel is Detective Sergeant Jim Ostachek with the Polk County Sheriff's Office. You probably know that name. He's behind a number of these major ORC cases right here in the state of Florida. And if you don't know Jim, you've probably heard the name Sheriff Grady Judd. Sheriff Judd has testified before Congress. He's a national figure. He's the head of the Florida Sheriff's Association. He is really out front in encouraging law enforcement and retailers to work together to combat the problem of organized retail crime. And all these folks will be here with us live. We're streaming live. live. I can't stop saying it because it's right. historic. We're making history here again, right? That's right. We're not rewriting history. It's a not new day because we are in sunny there Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, you we should are. be here. Beaches and sunshine. So it's where a... is NRF Protect Conference next year? Oh, uh, it's think in my Joe, home. Joe loves talking about it. All right. The secret's out. Long Beach, California on the West Coast. More beaches, more sunshine. Should we talk about the hockey? We. Uh, you know, we can oh. talk hockey all day long. <laughs> all day Go long. Go Kings. You know, Rangers, that was an anomaly <laughs> oh. last night. Look, We're... wait, don't turn off all of our Texas no, no, Ranger no. van no, viewers, no. Texas, New York, right? New York oh. Rangers. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, she's wah, in wah. baseball mode. <laughs> 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 I'm a Who's baseball out? fan. Atlanta Braves. All right. All you uh, hockey fans. We don't have we, ice in the South. We need, we need to fill Amber in on what a, a 3 0 deficit means and how many times uh, you've come back from the Thank Stanley God Cup. Thank God we're getting the wrap it up signal that, before right. I say anything else stupid. So. And, and when we come back, <laughs> we're going to have a very special guest. We're going to talk a little bit about Stan Welsh from JCPenney and how he's going to wrap up the day. We're turning it back over to Gus.